Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews, of course the channel dedicated to quality at different price points. Today we're in my outside set, in my backyard here. Uh, this is the outside set because of the uh, current quarantine going on, so. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to be talking about bolt action pens. Now recently, um, this was a few months ago, I did a video on my favorite EDC pens and that did really well. So I thought I'd follow up on that and talk about bolt action pens, which is a style that I didn't really recommend in that particular video. Now because of how cool bolt action pens are, I felt that these needed a video all to themselves. And I got quite a few requests for some bolt action pens in my previous video. So today we're gonna to be talking all about it. Now of course, bolt action pens are called bolt action because they kind of resemble a bolt action rifle. They have a spring mechanism that actuates with a little bolt here that's on a track. And um, they're really cool, I really like them. What I think is great about these is that they kind of offer the convenience of a standard click top. So if they're in your pocket, they won't accidentally actuate. You have to be purposeful in, in order to actually deploy the pin. Plus they're just cool to play with. You might hear me playing with this a little bit on this video. I'm gonna try not to for the purpose of making this video less annoying. All that to say, there are some great bolt action pins out there, and I'm gonna be showing quite a few here from different makers, and they're all very different. They run the gamut as far as features and design aesthetic, but I can highly recommend all of these. And if you like any of these, definitely go out, go down to the links down below in the description box or in the pinned comment in this video. And of course, if you wanna see more EDC pins, you can go to this video up here for more. Now, the first pin I wanna talk about is this one right here, and this one is by Honey Badger Arsenal. Now, Honey Badger Arsenal started on Etsy, creating really high quality, machined metal products and they contacted me asking me if I would review this pen and I was really thrilled to do it and this pen is a great kind of standard for how great a bolt action pen can be it's very slim and pretty lightweight coming in at about one and a half ounces the size is about the same size it's kind of a big pen um, so it's a little bit on the long side it's very comfortable and it's very pocketable and this is just a great all-around bolt action pen I really really like this a lot Honey Badger Arsenal actually makes these in a few different metals. Uh, the first one, of course, is brass, and also have this in copper, which is about the same uh, weight here. And I believe they also offer them in a few other metals as well. This is just a great all-around bolt action pen. It comes with a G2 refill, which is a great refill, one of my favorite ones. But you can also request a Parker-style refill for no charge, if you like that better. Prices vary, of course, but the brass one starts at $45. Really great bolt action pens from Honey Badger Arsenal. Definitely check them out. The next pen on the list is the Refine EP1. And this is another great bolt action pen that started on Kickstarter. And I believe their purpose was to make just the perfect EDC pen. And I think they did a really good job here. The size is just about perfect. I think it really hits the sweet spot for EDC pens. The stud on there is really small and really low profile, so it doesn't stick out in your pocket. It's not a pocket pecker, as <laughs> Nick Shabazz would say. There's a deep carry clip on the outside, which is detachable if you don't want the clip. And there is a copper barrel on the inside of the mechanism, as you can see, and that looks cool. I think it's a great contrasting color and it's a nice touch, but it also serves a functional reason of keeping debris out of the mechanism, which is a great decision here. The Refine uses Parker style uh, refills and comes with a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, which is a great refill. Really love that a lot. And the price on this is $65. They come in three different colors and they're all titanium. This is the polished titanium. They come in a stonewashed titanium and a black anodized as well. It's a great EDC pen. It's just small enough to be pocketable and pocket friendly, but just big enough to be easy to use. So this is a great choice, the Refine EP1. Next on the list is the Bolt Action Pen by Tactile Turn. Now Tactile Turn is one of those pen companies that has really made a lot of waves in the EDC community, especially in recent years, and at least from my perspective it has. <laughs> but Will Hodges, the owner of Tactile Turn, really has a great eye for design, quality, and aesthetics, and I think that really appeals to a lot of people in the EDC community, and I think that's why his pens are so successful. Successful. He has a few different pins in his line, uh, but the bolt action pin is one of his newer ones. And this is actually a uh, redesigned or refined version of a previous bolt action pin that he made called the Slider and Glider. And those were actually two pins of two different sizes. The biggest change that he made between the old version and the new design is that the track is actually a slightly different shape. The old
older shape was kind of a, a more C shape and some people didn't like how much um, you had to actually pay attention to actuate the pen. This one is just a little bit more of a traditional style uh, with his own twist on it. And he's really dialed this into perfection, I think. Now, the first thing you notice when you pick up this pen is it feels substantial, but it also has this really tactile feel to it as the name implies. I'm gonna see if I can show this on camera, but there are milled lines on this that look aesthetically beautiful, but also they serve as a, a really great kind of traction for your hands and grip for your fingers there uh, without being overly grippy. It feels phenomenal. It's really classy and I love the simplicity of the design and the elegance of the design as well. It's just an, an amazing looking pen. The tension of the bolt on this is really authoritative and somewhat stronger than the other ones that I have. And it really uh, snaps, which I think that's a good thing. The stud on this is pretty low profile, so it doesn't really peck your pockets and all. <laughs> and you can actually replace it with kind of an upgraded metal. And I think they have um, uh, different types of Damascus uh, style uh, studs there to choose from. I think that's pretty neat. It comes in three different sizes. The standard, the short, which is this one here, and then the mini. The short is a great size, and I think is the perfect size for this type of pen. It's about 5.1 inches, I believe, and is about 1.2 ounces. This is made in titanium, though there are other materials you can choose from as well. And it even offers a personalized engraving service for your pen if you want that. And he puts it on the clip right there, which is pretty neat. The refill on this is a Parker style refill and comes with a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, which is a great refill. But you can also adapt this to take the uh, G2 refills if you want. And what I really like about his website is that he goes to great lengths to show you, you can put almost any type of refill in here that you want, but you might have to modify it a little bit. And he kind of explains how you can modify it. Usually it's using an X-Acto knife and shortening the refill itself to fit in inside the pen, which is pretty neat that he offers that on his website. Another great feature on this is that the track on this goes counterclockwise to actuate. It seems like the majority of the pens go clockwise to actuate. What I like about that is that if you're a left-handed person and you need a pen that is just a little bit more lefty friendly, this will be that for you. If you're a right-handed person, it's still not a problem to, to actuate. It's just easier for a left-handed person. So that's pretty neat. As for the price, all the prices on these are $99 for most of the metals and all the sizes except for zirconium which is an additional cost. So if you're looking for one of these pins, they're all $99 except for the Zerk ones. It's truly a great bolt action pin. I love the design, I love the feel, I love the heft. Great bolt action pin from Tactile Turn. Next is the Bolt V2 by Keras Customs. Now in my last video about pins, I mentioned Keras Customs and their Render K, and I really love Keras Customs. They have a really unique design and appeal. They have kind of this kind of retro 50s classic car, somewhat kind of spaceship type of thing that is very whimsical, but also very functional. Keras Customs started as a machine shop, I believe for cars, and that really shows in their design and care of the products and quality for their pens. They make great pens and they have a very, very dedicated, hardcore fan base and I can see why. They have just an incredible aesthetic and incredible design and quality to them that are just perfect. This bolt action pen is a really unique design for bolt action pen because it still is the bolt action, but it is from the top and is more of a kind of a piston style. So almost like a piston of a car. That really just goes to show kind of where their design aesthetic is, but also too, it's just really easy to actuate. You can just kind of just sit there and do this. It offers kind of the best of both worlds of a bolt action pin and kind of a click top. So you can do this all day long, but it's not gonna actuate. So you actually have to sit there and kind of twist it as you push down to actually actuate the pen, which is really neat. Now this one is in the anodized aluminum, as you can see, but they also offer a few different other metals. And in the previous video I did, I showed that they had a copper and they do offer this in copper as well. But I really love the anodized aluminum. I love the colors. They just really pop and they're vibrant. Love that a lot. Um, and this one is the lightest of the ones they offer at just one ounce. So you're gonna go up from here. One ounce, you just, you, you barely feel it in your pocket. So I love that. You can get these in either a G2 refill or a Parker style refill, your choice. But if you change your mind in the future and want to change it over to a different style refill, they offer a conversion kit for five bucks to change it into the other style refill, which is pretty cool. Keras Customs just really has that, that X factor that I really love. They have a lot of personality. They have a great quality and it's just a great functional EDC pen and I love 
the bolt action on this. And the price on this for the aluminum version is $70. Next is the Rock by Ketalon, or Ketalon, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Ketalon is an Australian company, and they make really cool, uh, stylish EDC products that are very tough. And this is the perfect example of what they do. Now this Rock is one of my favorite ones on this list, just because of how unique it is. This one is actually made of, and let me get this right here, shockproof glass fiber reinforced polymer, uh, which kind of feels a little bit like plastic, but I'm, I'm assuming that it's tougher than that. It has kind of a tactical style pen feel to it, and I don't think they would necessarily call this a tactical pen, but you can definitely use it for that. As you can see, it has a, a flat top on here, so you can get your thumb around there, here. And this tip here has ribbed edges that add some strength and rigidity to this tip. And you can use it actually as a glass breaker, because apparently this tip is stronger than steel. And as I mentioned, it's all made with that polymer, so all the inside components are all made of that polymer, except for the spring and the refill. It's extremely light and very small at about 4.3 inches. And this is a super, super tough pen. It's compatible with Parker or G2 style refills, and it's very tough. Uh, very cool, great as a self-defense pen if you needed to, or just as just a bomb-proof pen. Really like the Ketalon pen. It comes in a few different colors, and the price on this is $30, which is a great deal. Definitely check out the Ketalon Rock. Next is the Oliver Shaw Move Pen. And yeah, this is it. This tiny little guy, that's it. Now the Move started as a successfully backed Kickstarter campaign, and they say it's the world's most compact and lightest uh, bolt action pen. And I have searched everywhere on God's green earth for bolt action pens, and I believe that is 100% correct. I have not seen a bolt action pen this small. Really, really cool. This is made out of aluminum, though they offer some in titanium as well. It comes with a little keychain, and this thing is a featherweight. It's just over three inches long, and it's only about half an ounce. It's tiny, and it is a perfect EDC pen if you want something that is just like a bolt action pen, but is light and easily deployable. The action on this is a little stiff, but I like that for this type of pen because it won't accidentally deploy. And when writing with this, you're not gonna write like a book with this. You're gonna do just some simple things that you need a, an emergency pen for. But what I like about it is that it's remarkably comfortable for the size pen that it is. It's not a full size pen, but it writes remarkably well for what it is. And the refill on this is the Lamy M22 refill, which is kind of a specialized refill. It's not as common as other refills out there, but I'm sure you can find this on Amazon or any anywhere. Uh, but it is bit way better than a Fisher Space Pen refill, better than a D2 refill, I think. So it's a small refill, but it offers a lot more writing capability and ease of use than the other small refills that you can find for this size, which is why one reason why I really like this a lot. Price on this starts at $52, and overall, it's just a great bolt action pen, an even better keychain pen. So yeah, definitely check out The Move by Oliver Shaw. Next is the bolt action pen from the 1941 collection from Allegory Goods. Now, Allegory Goods is a company that I really love. They have one of my absolute favorite notebooks of all time. They have a lot of great leather products and a lot of great pens. And as you can see, they really specialize in pens that have uh, wood in their construction, like this one. Now, the reason this is the 1941 collection is that the wood in this is teak wood taken from the USS North Carolina, which is a World War II ship that is highly decorated from, the, uh, from World War II and the Pacific campaign. Now, wooden pens aren't exactly new, but I would say that Allegory Goods is at the top of its class for what they do. They make pens that are absolutely exceptional. The fit and finish on this is perfect. There's nothing sticking out. There's no burrs. There's no sharp anything anywhere. It's perfect. And this 1941 collection is a limited run of products that they have, and it's serialized on the side here. This one is uh, number 522. I have a couple of pens from Allegory Goods, and they're perfect. I have a notebook from them, and it's perfect. <laughs> this pen is perfect. I really love the action on this a lot. As you can see, they also use brass on here as well. There is a top cap here that is replaceable. You can actually replace it with a stylus nib, which is what I have shown right here. So you can use this on your smartphones and tablets, which is neat. The size and weight is great on this. It's about 1.6 ounces and five and a half inches. Of course, I like that length on these pens a lot. And the weight on this is a little bit hefty, uh, but not 
too hefty. I would say that this is a, a great feel. It feels substantial, but it's not gonna uh, weigh your pocket down. The deployment on this is really easy to use as well. It has a spherical stud, which is easy to find and use, and it's just a very smooth operation overall. It uses a Parker style refill. And overall, I really love this pen. It is a just great classy pen that is perfectly machined. It is beautiful, classy, and a joy to write with. And I love the nod to history. This is a part of history. It has something on here that is irreplaceable. And I love that. If all that wasn't enough, it comes with a beautiful leather sleeve that is gorgeous by itself and is a great companion to put this in your pocket if you need to. And it has a lifetime warranty on this pen, which is unheard of for this type of pen. It's a wonderful pen. I really love it. The price on this is $105. Definitely check out the bolt action pen from the 1941 collection of Allegory Goods. So that's all I have. What do you think of these bolt action pens? Do you have a favorite bolt action pen? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, if you like any of these, again, I'll have links down below to those as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Reviews.